skip it in, skip it in. The Blue Cantrell, you can't log on to that site, but it's probably already shut it down. It's a Blue Cantrell. It's a, ooh. Ooh. Oh, happy birthday, Blue Cantrell. Yeah. <laughs> skip it in, skip it in. Yeah, happy birthday, Blue Cantrell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let's move on. From uh, Derek in the chat room on Spreaker.com, he says, send all pet birthdays to the DougStewartShow.com. No, the hell you don't. You get your ass written up for a darn boy penis nomination. From uh, Tiffany Choke Slam and Heels, it was rumored that Blue Cantrell was dating Jay-Z just before Beyonce. Huh. Okay. From uh, KC, now, Doug, remember it was the December 2009 edition of Black Tail. <laughs> is the great Black Tail magazine still in publication? Is it? I would think not. I would think that no, you know, uh, nudie magazines, as we used to call them back in the day, I don't think that too many nudie magazines are still in print. You know, everybody is moving to online. I mean, maybe Playboy is still around because Playboy, supposedly, from what they tell me, is uh is way more than just naked pictures. But, you know, publications like Blacktail magazine and some of them other ones, man, I would I would doubt that they're still in business. They're probably to an online format or something right now, platform. From Thel Pay, he says, L D, I can't get his character from Happy Gilmore out of my head. Laugh out loud, that wooden hand. Uh you're talking about Carl Tom Carl uh, Williams. <laughs> that was funny. From Sluggo X Squad, Stu ain't ready for that spread. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I just took a quick peek just now. We'll do our full research after today's show. <laughs> From our Barbershop Sports Talk podcast, he says, Blue Can Trail also had this reggae track called Breathe with Sean Paul. You talk about one-hit wonder. Like, she wasn't around for too long. I mean, she, she had, like, a couple of, Songs that they played to death on, uh, uh, to death on the radio. But I mean, she hadn't done a lot in a long time. That was 2002. Okay, so it was like 15 years ago. From our Gia Rose finds they still in print. Hit up Arab stores. Guaranteed they are in there. <laughs> like the 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 porn nudie picture industry print industry had to have taken a hit because you literally can click a button not that i mean from what i've heard you literally can push a button man and see all of the porn that you paid i don't know hundreds of dollars for on on uh on super eight reels 30 years ago uh, within a couple of seconds i mean all that you can handle why the hell would i look at a magazine why the hell would you go out and buy a magazine when you can get the real life video? Once again, not me. I don't do porn. I don't do that type of thing. I'm just saying, I would find it very hard to believe that you're making a profit in printing online nudie magazines. Like, who buys those? Right. Not that I would know, but this is just what I've heard um, from Bootsy. Looking on Blue Cantrell's wiki page, it says in 2014, she was taken into custody by police for a psych evaluation. She was running around screaming, someone poisoned her with gas, WTF. All the fine women always crazy. (laughs) Yeah, there's a lot of truth to what you just said, sir. From Tiffany Poole in Portland, I just took a peek and there's too much lawn on the field for my taste. <laughs> right. Well, Tiffany, I see you, Tiffany. A little bit of freaky, freaky dicky in your house. Some dudes like all natural. I mean, that used to be the norm back in the 80s. What? I mean, it's probably going to come back in style again. Now, you know, you know. sometimes, I don't know. I don't really want to get to that conversation. But from what I've heard, sometimes, man, dudes feel uncomfortable with a chick that's looking like a little infant down there. You know? 
from Tiffany Chokeslam and Heels. This is just what I've heard. Tiffany Chokeslam and Heels, there's nothing at a Playboy party but snow bunnies. It's a paradise for Grego and Jake Clyde. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Jay Clyde buying a first uh, a front seat ticket to the Playboy Mansion. Of Cornelia Small, Blue Cantrell just woke up and realized she's effed up for the whole family. Jay might have wifed her. Wow. Yeah, if, uh, if, if what we heard earlier from another comment that she was messing with Jay-Z. Jay-Z got to be close to a billionaire right now. There's a documentary out right now that somebody sent me. I still haven't had a chance to uh, to take a look at. Man, I mean, if you know what Jay-Z came from, I'm not talking about, you know, the streets or whatever and his uh, pharmaceutical sales. I'm talking about from a hip-hop perspective. Jay-Z was kind of like a second afterthought, <laughs> you know, in hip-hop. When, when he first came out, when you first heard Jay-Z, if you, if you remember where Jay-Z was at with the Hawaiian Sophie track back in, I'm going to guess... 1994. I'm not exactly sure when that track came out, but if you remember when Jay Z was on that 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 Hawaiian Sophie track with Jazz O, and where he is now, <laughs> okay, where he is now, close to being a billionaire if he's not already a billionaire, married to the finest chick in the game, as he says, wearing his chain, I mean it's incredible. I mean, you talk about going from ashy to classy? That's Jay-Z. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's an incredible story, man. From LD, the madness shorty from the D. Nah, I know who's a grown woman and who's, no, uh, who's not, no matter if, the, if they're bald-headed or not. Shoot. And then on the flip side, Big Apple Bastard, I knew this would be a comment from him. This, this sounds perfect for him. If your poo nanny don't have hair on it, I don't want to see it. Real talk. <laughs> Some people feel like that. Some people feel like that. From Team Broadcasting X Squad, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. According to, Forbes article, to a Forbes article released last year, Beyonce has an estimated net worth of $265 million. Her husband, Jay-Z, has an estimated net worth of $610 million. Wow. Now, I'm going to be honest. If, if, if I had to guess before I just read that, and I have no reason to doubt my man team broadcasting, he's a, he's a professional of the highest caliber. If, if you ask me which one was worth more money, I think I may have said Beyonce. I, I think that I may have said Beyonce, but the thing about it, I guess, is Jay-Z has a lot of ownership stake. He has a lot of stake in companies, and this title thing evidently is a big thing. And, you know, he, he represents uh, 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 athletes, you know. He's got the restaurant, the 4040 Club. So he's got his hands in a lot of different things. Beyonce, the reason I probably would have said Beyonce is because, in my mind, you know, when I think Beyonce, I think crossover. I think everybody in the world is buying her stuff. And I just think that hip hop fans are buying Jay Z stuff, which are, you know, to a large degree, much smaller than, than pop sales, or well, I would think. Um, and I guess I'm wrong. Jay Z worth 610 million dollars wow that's crazy from uh chuchi hmm when i was under 25 i wanted to see it no matter fake or real <laughs> from uh t-dub word barbershop michael evans lived across the street from kenia small that was before he sold a portion of title for 200 million wow mm. um from clay we sick boss davis oh i see he's got the little uh <laughs> He's got a little profile pic of the dude from um, from uh, Get Out. If you didn't hear the show yesterday, man, I saw Get Out the day before for $5 Tuesday at our local movie theater. And I rarely give out five Afros. I have a one to five uh, rating scale uh, in which we use Afros for movies. And... Five. 
Good movie. Very good movie. Very good movie, man. If you haven't seen it, man, you need to go out and see that movie. People have been talking about it for weeks and just hadn't had the chance to go see it. Uh, you know, if I miss it on Tuesday, I got to wait till the next Tuesday. <laughs> right. Five Out Tuesday is the greatest thing ever. So me and the wife went and saw it uh, on Tuesday, man. Very good movie. All the hype, everything that you've heard about it. Uh, hopefully you haven't heard the whole story, but it's good. It's very well done. Uh, I'm from Tiffany Pool in Portland. I was close, B.A.B. I was close. You were conditioned with 1979-82 porn. <laughs> Bless your heart. Don't nobody want to see all that HD. Wax those hardwood floors. Uh, from Griff, when I saw the great Vanessa Del Rio in 84, all bets were off with Playboy, Hustler, etc. Laugh out loud. <sighs> Get all Vanessa Del Rio on you. Wow, you took it back just now. Ugh. Yeah, if you're my age, once again, a lot of y'all are my age. If you're my age and the first Pika, some naked nootsie that you saw was in the 1980s, maybe you got your day little Playboy magazine from under the, the mattress or something like that or the back of the closet. You know, back then, I mean, them chicks went all natural. It's, it's totally different now from what I understand. All right, so if you... If your wheelhouse was late 80s, you know, uh, mid 80s, not late 80s, mid 80s, late 70s, for, fe- uh, for seeing a little bit of coochie, eh, you used to. It uh, looks like chicks had buckwheat in their headlock. That was the norm. That was the norm. That was the norm. Much different now. From what I understand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember your boy stole his daddy little Playboy and brought it to school. Y'all were looking at it in the bathroom back in 78. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what my generation is used to. It, it, it clearly doesn't offend us like it does these younger cats. You talk to some of these younger cats, they are repulsed if they see a little, uh, <laughs> remember that line from, what movie was that? It was it Revenge of the Nerds? We have Bush. <laughs> that was, that was Revenge of the Nerds, right? We have Bush. Yeah, much different now. Hey, when we get back from the break, man, I told you Darrell Rivas was innocent. We'll get to that. Read more of your chat. Continue to talk about the NCAA tournament and do what we do. The Doug Stewart Show. Drunk is a 